what I'm going to do today is do a speaker sensitivity test and that's basically is going to tell me how much output the speaker is going to put out for a given signal input and what we're going to need for that of course we're going to need a victim which is that loudspeaker there and we're going to need a sound pressure level meter this is an old analog meter which I got cheap you know where it was an auction we're going to need a audio generator and that's my old trusty leader which I couldn't bring myself to sell and we're going to need a AC voltmeter which can um, deal with 1000 Hertz I'm going to feed in the 1000 Hertz signal and also I'm using back here I am using an old Kenwood uh, amplifier which was part of my personal collection but now unfortunately fell down um, I put it I had it on top of a box the box gave in the amplifier flew down when I wasn't there so it's got some marks on it now but uh, but now this is a well I guess it would how would I call it um, yeah a test subject basically oh and I forgot to mention I need a measuring tape because I'm going to be measuring the distance from the loudspeaker to my sound pressure level meter which is going to be exactly one meter so that's what I need this for because if I'd have it at two feet or six feet, I would get erroneous readings. So about two years ago, my cell phone broke and I had to buy another one. I used to listen to a lot of music over the headphones. And lo and behold, this um, this cell phone didn't put out as, evidently didn't put out as much power as the other one. And so when I put the headphones on, I could hear something but it wasn't loud and as soon as you had any kind of background noise you couldn't hear anything at all so what I did is I went out and bought basically headphones with a with a higher speaker sensitivity uh, the higher the louder basically um, and you can see here I've got my laptop here on now on this table these are the so-called clip shorns these loudspeakers which I've always wanted and well they're really large and they're really expensive and you can see here the specs it says here highly efficient um, mostly the readings will be like this it'll say like 105 db um, 1 w the w stands for watt slash 1 m and basically that means like here translate that means this speaker is going to be put out a sound pressure level of 105 db decibels if you feed it with one watt of audio signal and you measure it with a sound pressure level meter exactly one meter in front of the speaker and also you have to figure for let's say if you had a speaker man it's got 90 speaker sensitivity of 90 decibels you have to figure for every three decibels in speaker sensitivity for every higher three decibels say you want from 90 to 93 uh, that's the equivalent of doubling the power of the amplifier. So now I've got a better spec sheet here and you can see that the here's the sensitivity. Let me zoom a little bit more here. Here it is 105 decibels at 2.83 volts. That's into 8 ohms. That would be and that's 1 watt and at a distance of one meter and here this is the maximum sound pressure level is 121 db continuous well let me look that up and see what would be the equivalent of that okay I can tell you it's louder than a car horn but less than a jet engine anyways um, I'm getting sidetracked here. Let me go ahead and do the actual experiment on my little loudspeakers. Now, normally I wouldn't um, use the use the amplifier to do this test. 
I'm just the audio generator. I would hook up the audio generator straight to the speaker and then adjust the audio generator. Say if this was an 8 ohm speaker, then I would adjust it. So as to where the audio generator was putting out 2.83 uh, volts RMS into an 8 ohm load, which then would have been exactly one watt. That's what I want to do my test at. But since this can't, this audio generator here can't put that out um, under a load. So I'm running, that's why I'm running this through this amplifier now. And I'm going to measure the 2.83 volts right at the, right across the speaker terminals. I've already got the meter hooked up. That's what I'm going to do. And um, let me just go double check and see if the actual speaker impedance is 8 ohms. Um, this might even be 4 ohms, I'm not sure. I'm have to take a quick look in the paperwork. Okay, it's actually 4 ohms, so I'm not going to feed in 2.83 volts. Um, see, the formula is E squared divided by R. R is a load, and that's going to give me 1 watt. So if I took E squared, if I took 2 squared, which is 4, say it was 2 volts, and I squared that, which would end up with 4, and I divided by, by 4 ohms, that would give me 1 watt. So I'm going to have to adjust the amplifier now to give me 2 volts RMS. And in the back here, I think I'm just feeding in a into the tuner input, since this doesn't have any aux input, um, I'm feeding in a 200 millivolt signal, but um, that's really not that important. What is important is what's coming out here from the loudspeakers, which if it would have been 8 ohms is 2.83 volts, and now it's going to be 2 volts RMS. So here we go with our measurement. Again, I'm looking for, since this is 4 ohm loudspeaker unit, I'm looking for 2 volts RMS. So that was right there. Now let me reposition everything. So I'm ready for the test. I've got the sound pressure level on two books. They bring the height up some so it's uh, kind of level with the speaker and I had to add a little here a little uh, extensions from the amplifier to the meter and to the speaker wire. So I'm on the 90 dB scale now and the 90 dB scale goes from 84 to 96 dB and again since this is a 4 ohm speaker I'm going to be feeding in uh, 2 volts RMS because uh, the formula for power would equal P equals E squared over R and E squared if it's 2 volts would be 4 and R is 4 ohms so I divide 4 by 4 and that would give me 1 watt. So let me go ahead and get going here. So I'm going to run this up one more time. And I have determined it to be, it was right over 90, right over 90 dB. 
So I would say the sound pressure level is about 90 dB. That was the absolute maximum. So we'll do this test again to confirm that it was around 90 dB. So 0 is 90 and of course the 6 is 96. And here the minus 6 that would have been 84 dB. Let me do this one more time. So in fact I would say it was 91 decibels, not 90.